Hi, I'm author philosopher Ronald Lee Springer. Today's moral atrocity to speak of is infirmity worship. Take a look at what are universally considered moral priorities. Doling out soup to the poor, emptying bedpans with a smile, and being proudly victimized by the wretched. Handouts, volunteer work, and martyrdom. They hand us as the climax of our productivity, not honors, but a stupid grin under a chef's hat giving something back at the local soup kitchen, implying that our daily occupation is a form of robbery. Giving something back is a mob term. Our most significant moral progress is prompted and maintained by science and industry, by the work we do every day, but has gone completely unnoticed as such, even by us, as we're taught to believe that moral action means the distribution of goods and services required to sustain anonymous, immediate needs, without any consideration for their source. The business of mankind, the production and exchange of products, is not evil. It keeps us all alive. It's the means of civil human living. We fought to justify the existence of our business world, lacking the one weapon that would assure victory, the knowledge that it's moral. And have you ever tried turning the other cheek to a criminal? So how is the hospital food? They tell us to permit and forgive any evil, placing the whole burden of responsible action upon the innocent. If you agree with it, watch out. They'll probably try to mug you on the way home. Does it make sense that our moral worthiness is tied to whether or not we can catch a speeding bullet and reform the shooter in the process? Is there a morality we can practice when people are not starving to death or dangling from cliffs? Do we need to focus on the alien 2% or fall victim to the criminal 0.01%? in order to be virtuous? At 50 to 1, you can't possibly spend your life serving those in need. They imply we spend the rest of our time doing things that are immoral, but our productivity provides all the benefits they demand. It's time we got moral recognition for it. Until next time, for MoralArmor.com, I'm author-philosopher Ronald E. Springer.